Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, and indeed whenever you are. Welcome to Resident Evil Remake. You are here with Morris. Yes, Resident Evil Remake. The remake of the remake of the remaster of the reimagining of the reawakening of the revolutions, the revelations, whatever you want to call it. It's finally here. My god, have I been waiting for this for a long time. Or oh, what, some 12, 13 years since it originally came out, I've been waiting for this to come out on something that I actually owned. Uh, I never had a GameCube myself. Uh, I had a friend who had a GameCube, never had a friend who had a GameCube who had the game. So, you know, I was kind of, you know, when LP started becoming a thing, um, this was one of the very first ones that I actually watched, <laughs> or actually looked for, uh, because, you know, this game is, uh, it's 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 astounding. It's, it's, it's almost beyond belief how good this is. Uh, like I say, I've been waiting for it for so long, and often these days, everything's so readily available. When a new game is announced, you're always looking for trailers. You're always looking for new screenshots, for new news, for, for what you know, rumors, everything. You want to be involved in it, right? And it's very rare that when a game comes out, it exceeds expectations. But this one does absolutely that in almost all ways possible. There are very few uh, flaws in this. Um, so much to talk about, so much to discuss. And I'm so glad to, to be able to actually play this uh, for you guys. I know a lot of you were kind of inquiring about this in the week's uh, leading up to the release, so I'm really, I, you know, I hope you're excited for this one, because it, it, it's unbelievable. Um, so we're just going to get right into it. Resident Evil. Oh, it sounds so good. <laughs> uh, okay, so just to uh, just to give a, a bit of a, the, this is the preliminaries, I guess. We're just going to, just letting you know we're doing the, the, the new sort of aspect ratio course. Going for the original controls, I'm going to show you the alternate controls. Um... Just to make a point about the new control scheme. But uh, we're going to stick to original and subtitle one. Standard, standard, right? Ah, uh, this already, this already demonstrating how good this game is. I love it when games do this, and not a lot do these days. But just make make it make things different, right? Just, this is selecting your difficulty. But it doesn't present it as if it's selecting your difficulty. It's just asking you a question. How do you like your games? One, like climbing a mountain, fulfilling, but it takes a lot of work. Two, like going on a hike, good exercise, but not too strenuous. Three, like taking a walk, you can relax and enjoy yourself. Now this is, um, number three is very easy, number two is easy, and number one is normal. Now, I've already streamed this game on my uh, on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash moonwalkermorris24, all one word, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> and when I was doing it, I, I picked number two because I assumed this one's in the middle, so this one must be normal, right? No, not so. You don't even have, there's no hard option. So actually, it's number one that's normal. And because I did it on easy the first time. I'm going to just stick it on normal. Why not? <laughs> like climbing a mountain. Come on, fulfilling. And uh, of course, of course, we're going to have to be Jill. Jill has got a special place in my heart. You know, if you if you were around with when uh, when I did the original uh, Resident Evil, then you'll know I, I, I prefer Jill just, you know, as a character. So we're going to have to, I mean, look at that outfit. I like this though. I like that they put the uh, updated versions in uh, because, you know, that's, that's, that's a, that's something they didn't have to do, and it's I guess it's just catering to that that newer Resident Evil audience that is coming through the past sort of well the latest generation let's say. Um, but me, you know, I'm a classic kind of guy. I'm gonna have to go with Jill Valentine original. So good. Hmm. I got my Yorkshire tea with me here today. I'm comfortable. I'm in the old rocking chair. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, couldn't be more relaxed, guys. Put your feet up. Grab a drink, get comfy, you know, it means winter, you know, put the heating on, everything. Just... Alpha team is flying around the forest oh, zone, get cozy. in northwest Raccoon City. Because <laughs> it's happening. Where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their Chris, mission. You found it yet? No, not yet. And you'll notice this isn't live action. Is that an Bizarre improvement or not? I don't know. I, I honestly City. couldn't tell you. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in. I mean, that original intro. But it gets to a contact. point where something is so bad that it's the best thing you've ever seen. <laughs> Bravo team's helicopter. And that's what that original intro does. But no, I think it was a, a, a wise move to actually make this uh, CG. <laughs> oh, 
We continued our search for the other members. Oh, there he is. How could he possibly see? Look how dark it is. He's wearing shades. A nightmare. Who goes there? I guess it's all clear. Oops. Jill, don't you know this is survival horror? Don't be wasting all your ammo right at the beginning. Oh, there he is, the man of the hour. So yeah, already vast improvements on the original. This is probably the first thing I don't like about this. Why is that progress bar there. Why is that ugly PS4 progress bar there? I know it's got a load, I understand. But look, it's got the little blood stains there so in the corner so you know it's loading. Why is it gotta have both? I don't know. There are only three what Star members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. Also, maybe I said this in the original, I don't know, but how did they lose Chris <laughs> between outside the mansion what and inside the mansion? <laughs> Where did Chris go? Not quite your ordinary house. That's for sure. The mansion was his idea. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Ran in the opposite direction. Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? You don't want to go Chris. back out there. No. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Voice Jill, acting is much better. Investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. And of course, right. the actual lines of dialogue are much go. better, too. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. I imagine when they said we're going to remake this, that that's the... F I want to I wanna imagine that that's the first thing they said. <laughs> it's like, dialogue, get on it. I don't even want to know about doing new textures. I just want dialogue, just do it properly, please. Can we get actors who have spoken to people in the past? Like, in their whole life. That's, that's the minimum requirement that we want for our new actors here. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, so we are in. Now this is just such a glorious opening shot. Look how small Jill is compared to everything else. It's just like, you know what? You are small. What's happening here is big. Oh, right off the bat. And to be honest, oh, and the lightning. The, oh, beautiful. Everything about this is so beautiful. The menus. You know, when I was uh, when I was streaming this originally, the, the reason I wanted to do a stream of it, and thank you, by the way, to everyone who joined, the stream because um, you know that was such a it was such a fun experience you know I'm glad we were all able to kind of enjoy that together it was something new you know there's something that I've never really done before anyway yeah the the reason I wanted to stream it first before I actually did an LP of it uh, was because I suspected that when I if I just did a straight LP before having seen anything about this game I, I would have uh, take a look at it would have just been me you know gasping it? at how good it is and that's exactly pretty much what the stream was <laughs> but now we can kind of look at it. In a bit more detail, yeah. which is what I really want. See if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. So, what do you think happened, Barry? That Chris sprinted ahead of us, 
We didn't see him sprint ahead of us because he was so quick. Got in the mansion, went straight in the dining room, and what? Jumped into the fire. Is that what? Is that, what, is that your hypothesis, Barry? Come on. You may need to be the brains of this operation. Uh, alrighty, let's uh, let's move on. We could get that wooden thing now, but we don't. Really need it. Uh, but yeah, honestly, the stream was just me going, "Oh my god!" Oh, just creaming myself at how good everything is in this. Unbelievable. is again still so good okay let's get out of here Barry do the business when you're ready Barry what is it look out it's a monster let me take care of it the head Barry please Three magnum rounds. That is probably the toughest zombie in the whole game. I found Kenneth killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Alright, let's roll. Don't suppose this guy has anything. <laughs> Wishful thinking. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. Uh That zombie is out of there. Wesker! Damn it, he's always wandering off. Jill, probably to do his hair. Him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Let's not leave this hall. Right, let's see how long that idea lasts, shall we? It's kind of a weird line, actually. He doesn't say explore, he just says let's not leave. So let's just spend the whole game, you know, just stood here. What could possibly be down here? Better finish searching the hall first. Okay. <laughs> Barry. I don't think Wesk is here, dude. I'll check upstairs for you, but I really don't think he's here. Although this... I want to get a good look at uh, everywhere in this main hall, because it's just... Everything is just so stunning. I mean, when you think back to the first game... Alright, you know, the limitations then. <laughs> there were a lot more than the limitations when this was made, but... This is just... Stunning. Stellar. It's it, difficult to even find the words. It's so good. <laughs> Barry. Any luck, Jill? No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. <laughs> Oh, it's so strange. Part of you wants him to say something about you being the master of unlocking, honestly. Anyway, we got the lockpick. That's gonna come in super handy. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. If something happened to you, do you want to be more specific, Barry? You don't want to be more specific? Alright, he's gone. He's gone. Never mind then. I don't think there's any items in here. Just gonna check that door, though. Because we're gonna make a point about this door. In about eight hours from now, we're going to make a very serious point about this door. <laughs> but for now, I'm probably just going to leave it where it is. Leave it where it is. Fine. Fine. Start on the first floor. Don't want to go underground. That Barry Barry said not to not to leave the first floor. So, just going to go. <laughs> uh, but you can tell, I mean, the mansion in the original was so kind of bare bones, you know? And, and, you know, that's fine, but it's the fact that they, they almost, they, they went above and beyond, let's be honest with this, with this version. I mean, every part of this is so kind of, it's, it feels so kind of meticulously crafted, you know. 
Like, there's absolutely nothing in sort of any room of this mansion that you go, that shouldn't be there, or that doesn't add to it, you know? And it's a combination of, uh, I mean, the, uh, I guess the direction itself is just amazing. Every, there are some, there are some camera angles in here that just absolutely blew my mind. I mean, even that first one, I think, says a lot. There's a mansion. There's a, uh, sorry, there's a map of the mansion. First floor, take it. Beautiful. Actually, this map screen, amazing. <laughs> How it's got the 100% items thing and the in-progress thing. So if a room is flashing red, or red, or it's just solid red, then, you know, you've got stuff left to do in that room. So, you know, you're not totally at a loss. An eerie picture of the mansion. This is totally a secret room, by the way. If, uh... I think you get the closet key if you finish the game, and, uh... That's where the closet is. It's hidden behind that painting. And then you get to change outfits mid-game. Don't know why you do that, but there you go. Will you take the dagger? Absolutely. Of course I will. Emergency evade. Using defensive items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape when the enemy grabs you from behind. To equip a defensive item, go to the state screen, select an item, blah blah blah. Select the survival viewer, backpack, blah blah blah. We, we know how to do that. I've got, I've got it set to automatic, so... It'll just defend. No problem. Oh, how good is that? <laughs> how good is that? <laughs> That's a great shot as well, but the zombies in this game are friggin' huge. Like, really huge. Ah! I'm not sure if that's avoidable or not, but nonetheless, he has a dagger in his face. So let's get out. It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. So that room is really... I think that guy that guy is avoidable if you're better at this game than I am. But that's really just to teach you how uh, the defensive things work. But from now on, we're going to try and hoard those because they're super useful. Alright, Barry. What's going on? We have a map, though. That's the main thing. And, as with everything I have ever done, there's going to be a lot of map checking. Frequently. Almost when there shouldn't be, as well. When I was first going through this game, for some reason, every time uh, the inventory button is triangle, right? But every time I wanted the inventory, I tended to press the map button. And every time I wanted the map, I pressed the inventory button. I don't know why. Every single time. <laughs> couldn't couldn't avoid it. There are bloodstains on the floor. Oh, look at that lighting. Look at that. Paused beautifully. That is a stunning shot right there. And actually, all, all the lighting in this game is incredible. Like, the reflections off of windows, off of floors, every, off liquid on the floor, ev everything is just so good. There are bloodstains on the floor. I hope these didn't come from your friends. All of them. Even though they probably did, I think we've established. That is exactly what happened. <laughs> ah! I don't want to dance with you just yet. Hey, Kenneth. It looks like he's holding something. His soul. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Okay, that's... <laughs> I think that's this game showing its age. <laughs> we still have a cupboard full of VHS stuff. Films that no one should ever watch again. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about with the camera work here. Just stunning close-up shot there. Going into the camera, you don't even... Uh. <laughs> Remember when we were playing Silent Hill, I was talking a lot about um, the kind of oppressive feel of Silent Hill and how you always think that something's hunting you? The mansion in this does exactly the same thing. I'm not going to go as far as to say the mansion is a character, but the mansion certainly is given a lot of character just by having camera angles like this. And uh, what's coming up is probably one of my favourites, <laughs> which is this corridor right here. This is so, so perfect. I mean, look at everything you've got here. Jill, perfectly framed in the in the sort of doorway there. You've got the shadow behind us, which it just looks stunning. It's like, you know, constantly something is watching you. And if you'll notice, it's, it's slightly off balance as well, this camera. It's like slightly diagonal. I mean, I don't want to stand here for too long, but 
honestly, I could look at that for a lot longer than I'm going to. And you can even see the uh, sort of chandelier thing swinging just ahead of us there. Oh, everything's just so good. <laughs> it's scary. It's scary. And this game couldn't have come along at a more perfect time for for anyone who is, um, you know, such a, a nice enough person to be subscribed to this channel in particular because we've been... Uh, there's a corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this match? Because um, we, we've been playing The Evil Within recently and, you know, I still, I still like that game. I still enjoy that game despite... You know, all the crap that we talked about <laughs> that happens during it. Um, you know, it certainly has uh, problems. It's hard to believe that uh, this game was directed by the same person. You know, it almost doesn't seem possible. Already, the stark differences. Um, and it's the fact that it came along while we were, it was released again while we were getting towards the end of Evil Within. Because honestly, it almost feels... Like, the reason that I do like The Evil Within is because of almost being conditioned for mediocrity these days. You know, I mean, this is... I mean, even look, look at these animations are so good. This is like survival horror done in... It's, it's like a, it's a masterclass, you know? I find very few things wrong with this. I, I, I would actually open the floor to debate there. I mean, if you had to criticize this game, and you don't have to... But if you had to pick out something, oh god, this room. If you if you had to pick out something that's wrong with this, I mean, what just out of interest, what would it be? Because I struggle, and as someone who's gone through life pointing out the things that are wrong, <laughs> as I'm known to do, I struggle with this one honestly. Oh god, let's not let that guy get the better of us. This corridor was probably my least favorite during the the original stream. Examine an item there. Uh, we know all about that. This was a uh, crimson head central. We'll get more into that later. The arrowhead looks like it can be removed. Well, let's remove it. The arrowhead is made from peridot, sometimes referred to as a poor man's emerald. Well, I'm a woman, so that doesn't apply. Okay. And those two are locked, so we just need to head back. Oh god. Oh god. Let's get past him. Oh god, we can't. We can't get past him. Get off me, dude. Get off me. Stop munching. That's not on. <laughs> Although this is on normal, so I don't want to go too crazy. This be a different experience, because I hear that's a kind of item pickups and... Certainly damage. A lot different uh, on all the different uh, difficulties. So, for example, playing it very easy, you get all kinds of crap that you don't need. I, think, I can't remember what the exact final count was for handgun bullets, but when we played through on easy, it was, uh, it was above 200 at the end of the game, so... <laughs> I don't think it'll be as generous this time around. And what's uh, probably one of the more striking elements of this, initially, is there's no music. Well, there's very little music. I mean, there was music in the intro, and occasionally, in certain areas, certain times of the game, it will uh, vamp it up a little bit. But, largely, silent, footsteps, you hear the ticking clock, you hear the thunder and lightning outside. It's got that oppressive feel that I love about it. That was what we were talking about with the Silent Hill game. It's interesting that Resident Evil, a game that's, you know, you'd say lean towards more the action, crazy... Oh my god, he wasn't there on easy. You know, it's, it's amazing that it's able to pull it off, really. Oh my lord! There are a lot of zombies here. Okay. You just put a shirt on, dude, at least. Alright, get in there. Okay, go, 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 before they catch up to me. Which they will. Oh god, they're gonna block off this staircase as well, aren't they? <laughs> I just know they are. Is there a guy in here? That would be a real kick in the teeth. If there was a guy in here. No, there was Okay. Thank the lord. Look at that shot. Look at this. Look how huge that coffin is compared to me. How ominous is that? 
Nothing in this game is by accident, okay? <laughs> I'm very confident of that. A book is fitted perfectly in the indentation. Well, let's rip it out then. Will you take the book of curses? I really don't feel like I should. But I'll do it anyway. Look at this Hogwarts stuff right here. There's a key embedded on the back cover. Will you remove it? Absolutely. You got the mansion key, the first of many. Let's open it up. What do you got for me? Book of Curses. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. That one's fucked. We can't do any of that. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Gee, I wonder what that could be. Okay, let's get out of here. Now I'm guessing these guys are going to be blocked in this corridor. be frustrating. Oh god. Okay, we can try and get past. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Okay, push him back. Push him. Get out of there, get out of there, Jim. Oh god. I'm wounded. Give me the shells, give me the shells. Go, go, go. Okay, I think actually this is a good time to talk about the the newer controls in this game. Um, because if we were playing with the alternate control scheme, we would probably never get hit by anything. Uh, apart from maybe bosses, I guess. And even then, it will be a lot easier to dodge out of the way. And I'm going to switch briefly, because you can switch mid-game to the newer control scheme, just to demonstrate it. Um, let's get a good look at this. Okay, so, the original control scheme, obviously, as I'm sure you'll have guessed, or you'll have known, because this game's been out forever, it's, uh, it's your classic tank controls. I would say classic, but actually they feel much better than, than usual. I mean, this, this turn is a lot quicker... I don't know, it's just, it's, it's you know, it's very responsive and you run at a good pace and it's it's, it's all good. I don't, I don't see a problem with that. Um, if we can just briefly switch to the alternate control scheme and then go back. Essentially what this does is uh, switch it so the left analog stick, instead of turning around like you would, you know, turning the character around like you would expect with the classic tank controls, the left analog stick is used to just move in any direction. So left, right, up, down. You know, and it's great because it gives you that maneuverability that is really kind of... If you want to, uh, I guess if you were doing a knife run or something, it certainly helps out with that. But I mean, you know, that you purists out there probably won't appreciate this. Uh, because it kind of it alleviates the difficulty a little bit. Because, as you can see when we got hit there, I had to run into those guys. I had to try and find a way around them. But if I was, um, you know, I mean, maybe I should find an example. I want to find an example, but because I'm hurt, I kind of, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little bit worried. Oh wow, we can't take a lot of damage on normal, can we? Um, I almost don't want to risk it to be honest. But uh, actually, where are we going next? Let's let's check this key. Let's 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 see. We can we can we can take a look. Engraving of a sword. Okay. Um, but yeah, you you know, you can run up to a zombie. You can kind of almost coax them into attacking you, and then immediately turn around. And then uh, and then run past them, you know, because it's so. And I will say one thing about it: it's hella responsive. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I love the fact that it's as responsive as it is. If you're gonna make a control scheme like this, don't make it all floaty. Like a lot of modern games have that kind of floaty esque style, where if you're running one way and then you immediately switch, you'll do like a skid or. A, and I guess it's more realistic because no one can turn around this quickly. But I don't know. For me, this is a game, and it should be like this. It should be as responsive as this. Um, I think I'm going to head this way, actually. But yeah, it does, like I say, it alleviates the difficulty. And I don't really like playing like that. Because I almost feel like I'm cheating, you know? With the original scheme, you have to you have to apply a little... You have to, um, you know, incorporate a little bit of skill into your game. Which I don't have, because I've been hit every time. <laughs> I haven't dodged a single goddamn thing. I'm gonna just put this here, just in case this guy manages to get out. No, he's 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 good. He Use the sword key. Thank you. So more enemies and enemies hit harder. This is gonna be a rough playthrough, guys. It's gonna be a very rough playthrough. And I feel like this corridor will not go as smoothly as it did the first time. Can I pick that up where it is? Nope. I've got to move this even more. Ah. There we go. 
On easy, these windows smashed, but nothing came through them. So I'm thinking... Ugh, okay. <laughs> I don't know whether that was a difficulty thing or not. But I never actually saw anything come through these windows, so... I don't know. I imagine this LP will cough up a lot of stuff that I'm not particularly familiar with. Anyway, I am going to have to pause it uh, for now, guys. But thank you so much for watching this opening episode of Resident Evil Remake. And I do hope you join me for the next part, guys. Hope you're super psyched for this one, because I'm really excited. Um, it's, it's, it's sort of semi-blind, because like I say, new difficulty, new LP, right? Um, but yeah, I hope you're excited. I hope you're looking forward to it. And uh, please do join me for the next part, guys. I'll see you in a bit. See you later.